project, uh, as you can see, I have an LED blinking here. In uh, most programming languages, your first uh, program that you program is called Hello World, where, well, in the world of Arduino, you program what's called Blink. Uh, and this script, this code, is straight from the Arduino website. Um, and it's pretty straightforward, but it's a good basic um, circuit here. And I'll try to pan around here so you can see it a little better. So um, I have the Arduino board hooked up to um, the breadboard, and I have a resistor and an LED in here. So right over here is the negative side of the LED, and this wire here is connected to that. You see it; they're in the same row. Um, and so th this is uh, your ground, basically. So the negative side goes to ground, and I have it going to ground in the um, Arduino. There's a ground over here on the Mega, uh, on the uh, right by the 13th pin. You probably can't see that too great, but um, believe me, it's over there. And um, then the positive side of the LED over to the left here is connected via a resistor. Um, we didn't really talk about resistors yet, but um, so a resistor kind of makes sure that the LED doesn't um, get uh, too much voltage and um, burn out or explode even. Um, and so that is connected to the positive uh, row of the breadboard, which is going into pin 13 on the Arduino. And so what the code tells it to do is just rotate between um, given a high output from pin 13, which will um, give it a voltage, and given a low output, which doesn't give any voltage or nearly any. And, and so that all rotates between given a charge to the LED, and when it gives a charge, it blinks. Does that make sense? And and this is uh, all done with some simple code, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, let me just mention about the resistor. Um, you can use all kinds of resistors in different projects, and there's a chart that I'm going to uh, include in the, um, in the description here that you can look at to kind of figure out um, which, uh, what type of resistor you have, like how much um, electricity is it letting through. I'm not too much voltage. So um, I'll provide that as well. And um, that's that. So let's just take a, a look at the code then. Okay, so here's the fritzing diagram. And Fritz, and when I say fritzing, I mean that's a, uh, a software, actually, a free download. And it's great for um, if you create a circuit and you want to make sure you remember it for next time. You go to do it, um, you can create it in the fritzing. I'll, I'll have a tutorial on how to use that software, actually. Um, but anyway, so here's our code. So as I was saying, um, uh, the first thing you do is declare this integer. Uh, and anyone who's familiar with Java, this should look pretty straightforward. It's an int LED. Um, you, know, you can give it any name you want here. We chose to name it LED since this is, this is connecting to the LED. We're making that equal to 13 because that's the pin on the Arduino that we're going to associate the um, voltage for the LED. And like, um, so this is if this is your first time looking at it, our Arduino sketch, you can see that uh, you declare your variables at the top, and then the next thing you have is this setup method. It's called void setup, and that allows you to initialize any variables. And so we're just going to use this built-in method called pin mode um, that anyone can use, and there's a you know you don't have to declare anything to use it. And we're going to say um, it takes two parameters. One is kind of a number, one of the pins on the Arduino, and we've already decided this one's equal to 13, and that's what we're going to output to. All right. Um, so again, this is a built-in command. This all caps means output. And then now we're going to go into the uh, loop section of your Arduino sketch, which basically th there's you know three sections. You can make your own custom methods, but for the basic program, it's declare variables, 
set them up in the setup method and then run um, anything you want to run in the loop method. This loop method will continue to um, just goes around in a loop continuously. And so the first thing we're going to do is digital write, which is basically going to write to that pin and it's pin 13 and we're going to give it high, which is going to send it some voltage, right? And then we're going to delay, leave it on for a second. These are milliseconds, so 1,000 equals a second. And then we're going to write again. We're going to say pin 13, now is equal to low. And we're going to hold that for a second. And that's your script. And you can mess around with this if you want to see if you can get it to go faster. Like, for instance, if you, you know, change this to 500, um, it's going to blink a lot faster. You know, if I, and then once you're ready for it, um, you uh, can click this little check button to verify the code doesn't have any errors. And then I recommend you go to Tools and you make sure you have the correct board selected. Um, this is the Arduino Mega. And then Serial Port. Um, for my computer, it's almost always this dev tty dot USB modem 121. Um, and so select that, and then you're going to go and click the little arrow here to upload the code. The Arduino will take a second, it'll blink for a second, then it'll start running the code. Um, and you might notice that uh, your LED is blinking. And mine's blinking a little faster now because uh, um, I uploaded the new code. And that's that. I hope that's helpful. Thanks.